alone sa court. And it, I saw this kid. Pal- palang yun, hindi ko ma-describe yung face ng kid. Nung time na yun, uh, nag-alakad ako, uh, sabi ko palang bigat dito. Parang may humihila dun sa pa ako. The spirits there are trapped. They couldn't escape the diplomat. Baguio, although it is not an old city as compared to, let's say, Manila, it has a very, you could say, very colorful history. You know? the sec- it's been through the Second World War, and it's been through the brunt, it bore the brunt of the 1990 earthquake. And uh, you could say that the culture of Baguio itself is so deeply connected to the Cordilleras that uh, we still have that uh, sense of the spirit world still uh, interacting very uh, actively with the physical world. na yan um, noong 20, 2010 pa kasi talagang abandoned siya eh. So yung panahon na yun as in talagang abandoned ang nandun lang yung guard ang nangyari um, kinausap ko yung guard uh, Puya sir wala na po close na po kami uh, Puya ano, mabilis lang kami uh, uh, kumbaga dumayo ba kami para makunta nito So nakiusap so pinapasok kami doon So talagang iri na yung time dahil magkano na eh nag-aagaw na yung, yung yan liwanag at dilim. And may nakasabay kaming isang babae. Kumiyahin pa sila galing Pampanga. At sabi niya kailangan na kailangan niya makabalik ng diplomat. So, ate bakit ganoon? Uh, bakit ka ano, uh, dumayo pa? Eh hindi kasi ako na ano, na nahimik, uh, hindi ako na pagtulog. Kumaga binabagabag ako ng ano ko. Ano bang nagbabagabag sa inyo? Sabi ko sa ano, sa babae. Um, may nakunan kasi akong uh, picture diyan sa loob ng diplomat doon sa may somewhere in uh, meron doon parang garden na may parang merong uh, fountain na ano yan, may sumabay sa sa kanya sa, sa camera talagang yun daw eh di siya pinapatahimik sabi niya ang sabi po sa kanya daw ng mga espiritista bumalik kung saan siya nakunan niya yun at para ibalik niya yung litrato meron siyang pinit na litrato at uh, iniwan niya yun doon sa area kung saan niya nakunan at kinausap niya, sabi niya, uh, ako po, uh, kumingi ng patawad kung nagkambala namin kayo, uh, kayo ito ganyan. Nung iniwan namin siya, dahan-dahan na rin kami umakyat. Ang feeling ako kasi, malakas ang pakiramdam ko pero hindi ako masyado nakakita. So doon, doon pa lang, magpasok ko wala ng, ng alin niya sa main entrance. Ang bigit-bigit na nung paa. Ako, ako kasi, ano yun eh, uh, lagi ako nag, uh, nag-hike, nag ano. So alam ko kung ano yung bigat ng katawan ko. Nung time na yon uh, nag-alakad ako. Sabi ko, parang bigat dito. Parang may humihila dun sa paa ko. So ang target talaga na ay makarating dun sa cross, sa pinakataas. So yung, alam mo yung feeling na parang mahuhulog ka, uh, nag-alakad ka, parang kang nag-tipto, tapos nahihirapan ka mag-ano, yun nararamdaman ko. So ano yun, uh, yung sa mga hallway, madilim na at tumadaan kami. Parang mayroong mga aninong sumusunod doon sa may, alam mo parang may mga window doon. Tapos parang mayroong mga sumusunod na ano. Kasi sabi nga ng card, kami lang naiwan doon. Ay, baka mayroong pang iba. Pagkakit namin doon sa may cross, doon, picture kami. Tapos may mga nauna na bumaba, yung mga di na umakyat. So sabi nila, ano sir, uh, kumusta doon sa taas? Ba- uh, bakit may kasama kayo doon na ibang tao? Sabi ko, itayo lang yung nandoon. Kasi may nakita daw sila doon sa may cross na parang babae daw na nakatayo. Doon sa panagpapicture daw kami. Kasi sabi ko, kami lang yung inan doon. Tapos ano, may bata lang kaming kasama. Wala nang iba. Sabi namin kasama kay isa pang babae, sir. 
So, so yun, medyo madilim na. <laughs> Sabi ko, uh, siguro tama na to kasi, ano na eh, yung pagtumilimingin ko sa mga pahinti sa likod ng diplomat, talagang ano na siya, talagang hindi mo na makita sa sobrang ano na. Well, the diplomat has uh, is one of the oldest uh, structures uh, in Baguio. I and a few colleagues have been to the diplomat multiple times and have done investigations there multiple times. Uh, you could say that yes, there were some. Uh, I could share some personal experiences, like for example, uh, hearing footsteps where there aren't any people, or hearing voices. Uh, I used equipment sometime in 2014 or 2013, 2014. I used uh, that was the first time I used equipment there. And um, yes, you could say that I heard voices, yeah. or voices were heard by those who were present as well, talking about uh, why they were there, why the spirits were there, or why, for example, uh, did they not want to exit. And so forth. Yeah, there are many factors by which diplomat can be considered haunted. First, it was a Dominican uh, retreat house. Its spiritual nature is already was already there. And then the fact that it became a stronghold for soldiers in the Second World War, where people were executed, uh, also contributed to that. Okay. Uh, and then the fact that it was also a place of faith healing or of uh, alternative forms of healing. Uh, which required the summoning of spirits uh, also contributed to that you could uh, you could probably say that if you were a person who were uh, who were there who was there and uh, who would who would want to look for spirits there it was not just the spirits of those who died there or that you might experience you would also have spirits of those who never died there in the first place because they were called there and because of something which we could still not explain at the moment, they couldn't escape the diplomat. The spirits there are trapped. Marami mga nagsasabi na sa teachers kam talaga, uh, huwag ka matutulog kung matakotin ka. Dahil marami talaga na nagaparamdam. I studied in an art school. So, yung school namin was called Special Program for the Arts. So, every year, meron yung Sining Pambansa. We're the representative from Region 4A. It's funny nga eh, kasi we stayed in Teacher's Camp. And then, Teacher's Camp kasi is very notorious for ghost stories. On the last night, so, um, usually last night kasi is the socials night, right? So I, prepared, I really prepared myself and then it was Baguio and so parang usually if you're wearing a jacket and I went out na ng quarters. Dun sa paglabas ko ng quarters, there's a law corridor there. No, I was alone kasi sa quarters eh, parang iba mention ako na na. So I went out and the moment I went out, I was alone sa corridor and it, I saw this kid. Alam, parang yun, hindi ko ma-describe yung face ng kid. Hindi ko alam kung happy siya, hindi ko alam kung sad siya. Pero nakatingin siya sa akin. Tapos parang, I was facing him. Then he ran on my left side. Parang kahit ako. Sinundan ko siya. So I followed him. Tapos pababa siya sa hagdan. Nung pababa na siya ng hagdan, he looked back. Hindi, I think parang tinitignan niya kung sunan ko siya pababa ng hagdan. That, and then that's when I snapped out. Parang I realized, oh my followers. Why is, why is there a kid here? Medyo nakakahiya rin siya. No? Parang, hello? Hindi ko yung sinusundan ko. So, I kept it to myself. So, parang, okay, sige, hinayaan ko na lang. Tapos, hindi ko na siya sinundan pa baba na hagdan. I turned around. And then, I went back to the quarters. Doon sa quarters, uh, mupo kami sa may, ano, sa may door. We were, we were facing the corridor. Tapos, yung corridor kasi opposite side of the door. Our windows. I was covering my eyes with both of my hands. Then the moment I looked up, there was a kid staring back at me. Nasa window. Nandun yung kid, 
na nakasabit siya, nakadumaw. So, parang in my head, was it floating? Nakasabit ba yung kid sa window? Bakit siya nasa window? Those are the first questions that I had in my head. Tapos parang that's when I realized, no, wait, that kid is not a normal kid. That kid is weird. I can't even say na it's supposed to. Tapos nakatingin lang siya sa akin. Like, literally nakatingin lang siya. Tapos, sabi ko, parang, multo ata ako nasa harap ko. Okay, wala siyang ginagawa. Yung expression ng bata is, it's black. Tapos, I can't really describe the face, but there's a face. I know there's a face, and I also know that that's a different kid from the kid before. Teacher's camp was a Japanese headquarters, or it was a Japanese holdout at the very least. You could say that uh, people died there, right? People died there, and uh, those who died there uh, because of the trauma that uh, trauma that they felt. Okay? A popular belief would say that it would be haunted. Lapiral, yung uh, famous na White House ng Baguio. So, nagpa-picture kami. Nagpa-picture kami. Uh, lahat kami, bumaba kami dun before we go to sa accommodation. Um, Siyempre, nag-compare kami ng mga pictures. Yung yung mga picture namin, uh, may, may nakunan kaming parang shadow doon sa second floor. Which is nung pinanood ko yung, ano, yung sa GMA, eyewitness. Yun yung ba- yung babae uh, na binabanggit nila na lagi nandoon. Yung ano ko nung nalala ko na yun nga yung nap- 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 nakuna namin nakabantay doon sa second floor sa may bintana. So it confirms na talagang meron doon sa uh, White House. Well, the Laparal House is actually private property. It was owned by the Laparals for uh, many years prior and after the Second World War. The Laparal said to be, uh, you could say, uh, well, your classic haunted house. From what eyewitness accounts have said, again, there were strange lights coming from the highest floor of the Laparal. There was, uh, there are sightings of people uh, dressed in white walking the hallways, passing by the windows, sometimes even uh, in the surrounding yards. There are even some instances where they could hear uh, the sound of a baby crying where there isn't supposed to be a baby crying or isn't supposed to be a baby or anybody inside the house for that matter. <laughs> so one time since all girl dorm yung yung dorm namin um syempre bawal yung guys merong sumita sa amin na Um, kadorm namin na bakit daw kami nagpapapasok ng lalaki sa room. If, if ganun yung suot niya, tingin ko, ano siya eh, honestly, tingin ko yun yung suot niya nung nilibing siya or something. May sumilip na bata, pero hindi ko nakita yung blurred yung mukha. Pero alam ko nakangiti siya, tapos nakatingin siya sa akin. Kinausap ko siya. Sabi ko ganun, halika, sabi ko ganun, maglinis tayo, sabi ko. Tapos maya-maya, sumikip yung dito ko, yung sa waist. Alam mo yung parang may yumakap na bata sa'yo. 